All right, what's going on everyone? Static Suppressor here with Gamer Dads Nation. I'm here to give you a quick tutorial in real time of how to get your embers and your sparks leaders, like the names of them, up on your overlay as you can see on this pre-played stream of mine from a couple days ago in the bottom right hand corner. Um, this is particular for those using Lightstream. So to get right into it, what you're going to want to do is first, where do you create that leaderboard? Well, you're going to want to go to Pink Meatball. I know it's kind of weird. I Google search it first because it's a, <laughs> it's just a weird name. So I go Pink Meatball Embers Leaderboard. Find it. It's normally like the first or second one. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go the second one. <clears throat> Yep, this is exactly what we want. Mixer Leaderboard Creator. Again, this is pinkmeatball.com backslash Mixer Leaderboard Creator backslash. So, channel name, you want to put your own name. So, for me, obviously, I would put in Static Suppressor. And then it'll you don't have to press enter or anything. It'll just do it for you, and then you'll see how your preview just changed. You can switch your type of data from embers to sparks as you see fit. Okay, and then you can also time frame it all time, yearly, monthly, or weekly. Um, we'll keep it all time for now, and we'll just do sparks for now. Um, number of results, you can have 10 on here. You can have up to, I think, like 50. Um, for me, I'll do my... Five, if I can get it there. Four, five. Perfect. All right, and then after that, you can look down here, and uh, you can select your own text font. Um, it is, it's very varied. You can actually have Times New Roman, whatever you want to do, whatever you think looks nice. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it like this for now. That's fine. Um, you can title it. So for me, I'll go All Time Top Five. And it'll update automatically. You just got to give it a second or my computer's kind of slow too. Anyway, that's what you would do. Everything else is kind of up to you. You can you can change the font size. You can change the uh, the imagery or the color. Excuse me. Um, it's really whatever, whatever you guys want to do. So there's the all-time top five for Sparks in my stream. Now, once you have this all set up, I'm going to do it for Embers too. This URL is very, very important, okay? What you're gonna wanna do is, now if you have Lightstream, I find it best to use player.me, okay? There is Streamlabs, there's Batissimo, all that stuff, but for me, player.me has worked out the best. So when you open up player.me and you sign in, or you're already signed in, you're obviously at the home page. head on down to Studio on the left hand side. Open that up. I already have a custom one, a couple of custom ones already completed, but we'll just do a brand new one to show you guys how to truly go about doing it. So open up a new overlay type. Let's call it in game. Actually, no, let's call it custom. Okay, we're going to call it custom. Create my own. Sure. Add and launch editor. We'll call it uh, Embers and Sparks. Sure. Can we contain. Oh. Here. Let's try this again. So let's go to custom. Create my own. Add launch editor. Embers. Embers, Sparks. Create. All right, then it'll make a new overlay for you. And boom, this is what you have as default. Uh, don't worry too much about this background image. It has nothing to do with what we're going to do, okay? So what you're going to want to do is add widget. Then you're going to want to go web page. This is why I use player.me because I've not been able to locate something on Streamlabs or Batismo where a web page URL can be created and turned into its own overlay. So you do web page, select. Then when you select it, 
there it shows player.me this is this is where you put it now you'll see on the left hand corner here I'll blow this up you'll see on the left hand corner how it says properties general and web page URL the web page URL is what you want to click on now go back to that pinkmeatball.com that leaderboard URL for the all-time five copy that URL go over to player.me where the web page URL is you're gonna want to it's not going to give you the option if you right click on the mouse just do control V and it's going to paste the entire URL obviously delete that little copy URL blurb kind of scroll up a bit because watch when you let's click away for a second you see how when you click away it shows HTTPS blah 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 and then it says it again so a lot of people run into this mistake and they're like oh my gosh it's not there this is a load of crap you know what just go in there and Delete the second one of the HTTP thing, and so it looks like that. It's all one URL. Now click away from it, and boom, bada, boom. There you go. Okay, so then this is your all-time top five leaderboard for the Sparks. Now let's quickly go over. I'm going to do the same thing for Embers. Copy URL. I'm going to add a widget, so I'm not going to do it on the same widget that we just placed, because then that would just replace it. Web page URL. Highlight it. Control V. Okay. Let's delete that copy URL. Click away. Go back into it because it's doubling up on the HTTPS. Okay, it's now all one single URL. Boom, bada, boom. There it is. Awesome. So then you can put it kind of, let's just put it right. We want it to kind of line up. So, yeah, that'll that'll be fine. So leave it like that, right? Again, don't worry about this background image. We're not going to care about that. Okay, and the reason is now when you have this completed, you want to click Save Overlay at the top. Just click Save. It's really simple. <clears throat> then when you have it saved, you'll be able to exit out of it. And then scroll and you will find your new custom scene, which is right here. And then because you see this right here, what you're going to want to do is how do you, you're, you're going to ask yourself, how do you get this onto your overlay because you're using Lightstream? Well, first, let's, uh, I kind of got away from myself here and uh, I jumped the gun a bit. Let's open up Lightstream. So now you're going to find that the all-time top five sparks, all-time top five embers is in your own custom scene. You'll see the scenes that you create down here at the bottom. So when you find that, the next step is putting this onto your Lightstream. So what you would do is you would go to Lightstream Studio. There we go. Log into your Lightstream Studio account. As I am doing. And voila, we are here. Look at all this stuff starting to load in. Fantastical. Now, I already have one copied here. You'll see right there at the bottom right-hand corner, right? But what I'm just going to do is I am going to delete that for you. And the reason I'm going to delete that is to show you what it's like all the way through. So, when you have your light stream open, let's go back to player.me. Right-click on this custom scene. Right-click. When you do that, you'll see copy URL. This URL is a player.me URL. You're going to copy URL, go back into Lightstream, open up a new layer, third-party integrations, player.me integration. It's going to pop up, enter the URL, right-click, paste, click away from it, 
and give it a second to think about if it's real and voila it is in fact real <laughs> So there you go. That's what it kind of looks like and then you can just kind of scale it down and actually scale it not just resize it as such Like that and then you you can put it obviously wherever you guys want to put it I like I want to put mine down here kind of where I had it Click away and that's how you do it guys. It's pretty simple. So again key things to remember pink ball Pink Meatball, not Pink Ball, PinkMeatball.com, Mixer Leaderboard Creator. This is where you find the embers and the sparks. Use Player.me to create that URL web page overlay. That is very, very key. Web page overlay. A lot of people will try and take this URL, copy, and try and paste it into their Lightstream Studio, but it is literally impossible. Because when you go layers, there is nothing on here to indicate a web page URL. Not even if you do third-party integrations, you have to use one of these streaming services. And I haven't found it on Streamlabs. I truly haven't tried all these other ones, but Streamlabs and Batiste Mode do not allow for custom URL overlays to be uploaded. I know because I've asked them. Maybe that's changed because it's been obviously a few months since then, but that's the easiest way I know how about doing it. Again, hope this was really easy for you guys to understand. Hope I kind of hit on key points. Let me know in the comments how you guys thought it went. And as always, this is Static Suppressor for Gamer Dads Nation telling y'all to keep on streaming and have fun with your games. See ya.